Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 507, perfect number. This is an easy level problem on Lee code and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So basically it wants us to return true or false if this number input is a perfect number. And a perfect number is when you look at what's divisible by. So I take example 28, just visible by 1, 2, 4, 7, 14. And not including itself 28, you add them all up and it equals 28. And then if the sum is equal to the number, we return true. If not, we return false. So how we're gonna solve this is that first, we need to cover an edge case that we're gonna do because it covers, it starts at one and one will be an edge case because if it's one, we will have to return false. I'm not exactly sure. It's just ex excluding the number itself part. So first return, false if num is one. Next we wanna do is that we create a sum variable two. And we're gonna start it to one because when we loop through this, we're gonna have to loop through num. Uh, we can skip one because we just set it equal to one at first and then we can't take the 28 itself. So there's no point in doing that. So we can just start at one to do this. Next we loop through num. And the key here to make it more efficient is that instead of looping through it all, I did that first. And then I realized you can divide it by two because everything is gonna be less than a half of 28. And that increased the efficiency even more. But what you can do even more is that you loop through the square root of the number until square root of num. And we do this because when we do it, we're gonna add both we're gonna go by the pairs. So the square root is the maximum amount of pairs that they can be. And then the rest, you just, you just instead of just adding it, each one as you, like you take two, five by 28, okay, let's go. Three, it doesn't include four, oh yeah, it includes you add. You get two and then you find the pair, the pair of two as well, 14. So you do that both, adding them. So we loop through it and then we create a condition, condition, if it's divisible, if the current num is divisible. And then if it is, we add the current num and its pair. And that's what it's gonna be divided by. So for two would be num over i. And then we return num, no, return sum if sum is equal to num. So to put it in code, first we create the condition if num is equal to one, we return false. Next, we create the sum variable that sum equals to one. Now we loop through num for that i equals, and we're gonna start at two, is i less than math dot square root of num i plus plus. And inside of this, we create the condition if num mod i is equal to zero, meaning it's divisible, we have to add the values. So sum equals sum what we had before plus i plus num over i. And after that, we just return sum equals to num. Great. Great, so the time complexity it's a unique one because we're looping through the square root of n. So it will be square root of n. And then the space complexity, we are just creating the variable here. So it's just gonna be O of one. And that is how you solve this problem. Thank you.